Before you intubate, you must first gather your supplies and prepare them for the procedure. You will need an ET tube with a cuff sized for the cat. This will range from 3 millimeters to 5 millimeters. You will also need a strip of tubing or gauze to secure the tube in place, gauze squares to hold the tongue, lidocaine, and lubricant for the end of the ET tube. After selecting the correct size, prep the tube with a cuff and measure the tube length from the canine teeth to the thoracic inlet. Then attach a strip of gauze or tubing to secure the tube in place once it is in. Lube the tip of the ET tube cuff, ensuring the holes at the end are open and not completely covered over. With the animal under anesthesia and the ET tube prepped, you are now ready to intubate. Cats must first receive lidocaine drops in their throat before being able to be intubated. The lidocaine should be dropped as directly onto the larynx as possible. After dropping the lidocaine into the throat, you should see the airway open so you can freely access the trachea. When inserting the tube, your target is the trachea, the football-shaped hole at the back of the throat, just above the epiglottis. Once the tube is inserted, tie it around the back of the cat's head. With the ET tube secured in place, you can now connect the tube to the anesthesia system and turn on the gas. Inflate the cuff and test for leaks. Be sure not to overinflate the cuff as it can cause damage to the trachea. Let's watch the whole process again in slow motion. Be sure to pay attention to where the tube is being inserted. In order to become proficient with intubation, you must practice. While you are practicing with your trainer, ask for helpful hints and refer to job aids to help you be successful.